In this video, we'll do some practice problems related to the rule of product and rule of sum. So for the first question, we have eight women and five men are elected for president. So they're all going to run for president. So how many ways is there to choose a winner or a president? So we look and we say, okay, there's eight women we can choose and there's five men we can choose but this is eight women or five men. So we use the rule of sum to say, look, there's 13 ways we can choose a winner. And this makes sense because there's 13 participants. We're just breaking them up into cases of men and women. So either a woman can win or a man can win. Therefore, eight plus five is 13. Okay, so how many man versus woman pairs can we make? So let's pretend it's gonna be one woman up against one man. So for the men, there's five choices for the man to be in our pair. And then there's gonna be eight choices for the woman. So we're gonna have 40 pairs. Now this uses the rule of product because we're choosing a man out of our pool of five and then we're choosing a woman out of our pool of five and we're pairing them up. So each man is gonna be paired with each woman or has the possibility to be. So. We choose a man, and then we choose a woman, so it's 5 times 8, that's 40 possible pairs. Okay, how many ways can we choose a president and a female vice president? So first we're choosing a president, and then we're choosing a vice president, but that vice president has to be female. Okay, so let's take a look here. How many ways can we choose a president? Well, let's think here. There's 13 candidates for a president. So we choose one of those 13 candidates and then we need to choose a vice president. Well, here's the problem. If our first president is female, then our second choice for vice president is gonna have one less woman in the pool. But if our president is male, then we have all eight women to choose from. So maybe we shouldn't say it's 13 times something. Maybe we should break this up and say, look, we have a male president or a female president. So our first scenario here, we have a male president. So let's do that. We choose a president from the men. That's five. And then we choose a female vice president. So now we have eight possible choices. So. This is our male-female pair. And then we're gonna have a female-female pair. So we have eight choices for a woman as president, and then we have seven choices for the remaining woman as president. So this is the F and F combo. And we're saying, look, it can be male and female or female and female. So we use the rule of sum to add these two conditions together. So our end result is gonna be 40 plus 56, which is 96 possible pairs. So this is a nice example of how you can take a very simple problem and make it a little bit more difficult. If we said choose a president and a vice president, that'd be easy because we have 13 possible choices for the first and 12 for the vice president. But this gets a little bit more difficult because we're putting this constraint on the vice president and one of those women might be used up in the first if we just start with 13 saying okay look it can be any of these 13 and then you break the vice president up into cases mm, not too easy okay. there's the first question second question we want to buy a sandwich and this store has three types of bread five types of meat and six types of cheese so how many ways can we make a one meat one cheese sandwich well First, we choose our type of bread. So it's three there's three types. Then we wanna choose our meat. So there's five types we can choose from. Then we wanna choose our cheese. There's six types to choose from. So we have three bread, five meat, and six cheese to choose from, which means we have a total of 90 combinations. This is just like the ice cream problem in the previous lecture video. Two. How many ways can we make a three meat, two cheese sandwich and we don't want any repeats? Okay, so first we choose our type of bread. And now we want three meats. 
So we have five choices for our first meet. We have four choices for the second meet, and we have three choices for the third meet, because we want three different meets. Okay. And then we want to multiply this by a two cheese sandwich. So we have six choices for our first cheese, and five choices for a second cheese. So our end result is going to be much higher than 90. Uh, it's going to be 15 times, or let's say 3 times 60 times 30. It's 90 times 60, so this is going to be 5,400 possible combinations. So if you want three meats and two cheeses instead of one meat and one cheese, uh, you have a lot more options, which is good because options are good. Anyways, those were some example questions for the rule of product and rule of sum. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as quickly as I can.